So, Ali, what are some of the uh, techniques uh, that we are looking at and uh, that have been used in the past? Well, in terms of armamentarium for obturation, obviously you need your basic, your, you know, your filling, your fillers and your sealers, as well as the uh, material that you use to condense in place and uh, do the procedure with. But I think it's more important, rather than to get hung up on the armamentariums, to think about the philosophy of what obturation is all about. Um, Again, as we mentioned in the introduction, it's about the, um, uh, it's the, it's the sealing of the root canal space uh, through the combination of fillers and sealers so that you can eliminate the bacteria that, uh, that, that could potentially regrow back into that space and come, okay. come back out. But this has been really achieved through two separate philosophies. One has been the, the original philosophy of minimizing the sealer interface, uh, which constitutes your, your classical uh, obturation systems or obturation techniques, if you will, that includes your lateral condensation, your vertical condensation, as well as your thermoplastic um, filling and obturators. They're all based on the same concept of minimizing the sealer interface, and we'll talk about what it means. And then the a more modern uh, obturation technique is based on the sealer itself. That's a sealer-based obturation. And that includes, at the present time, only bonded hydraulic condensation, which we're going to talk about as well. Uh, but the whole theory here revolves around the difference between sealers and fillers. What are the disadvantages? And why is it that we've been told we have to minimize the sealer interface for all these years? So let's come back and do that. Mm -hmm.